Hi everybody, there is some news and we start with a little bug fix. So you know the Series 2 plugins all try to fit in the window that you give them, but you can switch off the automatic scaling. And there was this little bug with the cocky delay that this function didn't work. And this was spotted by Edu and he not only found the bug, he provided the solution for the bug. So, thank you Edu, greetings to Colombia. If I was a big plugin making company, I would call the next thing a game changer. So, you see, I've loaded quite a bunch of plugins here on that track and they're using about 33% CPU. And um, that is, of course, a lot. So it can sum up uh, using some CPU uh, using the plugins mixing a track. But now, if we wait for the end of the track here, we can see that the CPU use drops and drops and drops. And this um, is because the plugins now release the CPU if there are no audio running. The only thing that you have to do for that is open the project settings and click auto bypass effects that report tail length. So with this you can now use a lot more plugins because not all your tracks are running at the same time I think. So let's get to the new plugins and the first one is the green circles meter. It is a multimeter that can show you things in four circles and it shows a view meter. This circle metering thing works a bit like a clock. So you have a clock pointer that moves clockwise and shows you the levels. Um, I play back some music and you immediately see what I mean. Walking like a man, hitting like a hammer, she's a Gemini scam. Never was a quitter, tasting like a raper, she's got the look. So we see the history of the levels in this uh, circle. Up here we can choose um, the circle duration, so a very fast uh, turning would be 10 seconds. Walking like a man, hitting like a hammer, she's a Gemini scam. Never was a quitter, tasting like a raper and so on, or you can set that up to six minutes. Um, so for regular songs, you could meter the history of your whole song. The last circle is always the goniometer, while the first three um, you can choose which is here to meter. So you have the short term or the momentary or the integrated um, loudness, um, the RMS, a maximum of the left and the right channel or the left or the right channel. So we can choose whatever we want here to meter. And um, yeah, the meters switch immediately. And when metering, we're often looking for a target. So the target is a range um, that your audio is not too low level and it's not too high level. So it is a range. We can choose the target um, from here. So this is the um, lower value. And um, if we're over the target, this would be this value here. And you can see that these um, circles are showing you your target range. And what we can see is that the um, audio that is in the target is light green. So we can instantly see if we're in the target range or if we're over the target range and then it will be red. For the um, left and right channel metering, we can choose if we want to meet um, regular peaks or true peak. And this is true peaks by default. And there's another color and this is a kind of purple. And this indicates that we're actually over zero dBFS. It would look like this. So we saw in the loud part, um, we had the peaks that were over um, 0 dB FS. They were at 2 dB FS. The circles can be scaled. So um, the range that they show 
um, can be adjusted directly by um, touching the circle and um, we can go from a 90 dB range to a 10 dB range that they scale. And of course we can reset the measurement by clicking on the peak or life values. So let's get over to the goniometer where we have the speed for the goniometer so we could have a really fast goniometer like this. Or a quite slow goniometer like this. And we can use the boost which will boost the um, display if your audio is low level, you can't really see what's going on here, so you could boost the display. And you can turn off the goniometer because it costs some CPU, and if you don't need it, you can just turn that off. The VU meters can be calibrated, so um, this value shows you which dBFS value would equal the zero VU value. And while talking about the VU meters, you can switch that to VU meter only. So this whole circles thing will be deactivated. So you can save some CPU if you just want to use the VU meters. And it would be no surprise if you use it like this, because this plugin is especially designed for the use directly in the mixer. So if I close that here, we can see that we get metering in the mixer. And with a right click, we can choose what we want to meter. So let me set that to some VU meter. And what we see is, well, I chose VU meter only. That should work. And we see the need for a recalibration. So maybe to 10 dB. And we could enable the circles again and then choose whatever we want to meter here. This plugin comes with uh, four presets for you um, that I made. And don't forget, you can make your own presets. So now let's get to the other new plugin. And this is the Tool Series 2. This is basically the um, tool plugin um, that existed before, with, but now with all the Series 2 features. So, of course, yeah, it's scalable, and we have this processing thing and grouping and scaling on and off stuff. For all who didn't know that plugin before, we have a high pass filter, low pass filter. Um, we can choose for the left and the right channel if we want to pan it elsewhere and level that or mute or face flip. We could uh, output in mono or regular stereo. We can encode um, to mid and side channels or decode from mid and side channels. We have a balance for the left and right channel and overall output, which could be handy as a gain staging tool. You can control the wideness. Um, so we have from the just a mono signal to just the sides signal. You can blend, you can mute the complete plugin and you can remove DC content if there's any DC content in your audio. By the way, this mute thing is interesting uh, when using with the processing in different settings. So maybe um, while recording, you don't want to hear a signal or you just want to hear the signal while recording or things like that. And for the purpose of gain staging, there is an MCP mode for this plugin, which shows the gain stage, which is the output value. And um, we can directly adjust this from the mixer. So um, we can just drag this um, to a level that we need. And there's also built in a little metering on the top. It's input meter and bottom it's output meter. So that's it for today. I hope you have fun with the plugins and bye bye.